Hi class, it's Rebecca. This week we've been learning about reading for other. In our reading assignment this week we were learning about how um, boys tend to read a lot less than girls and how the number of um, kids who enjoy reading is actually declining and it's important to find books that are interesting for children to read. Um, this week I chose um, this book called Who is Bugs Potter by Gordon Corman. There's a couple of reasons why I chose this book. First of all, I remember my brothers loving Gordon Corman as um, children. I can remember them wanting to read all of his books and laughing out loud at the books. So um, I know that they are interesting to boys. Um, another reason is Gordon Corman is a, a Canadian author, and um, as a Canadian, I thought I would put in a plug for Canadian uh, literature. Here's a picture of Gordon Corman at the back of the book, and um, obviously quite an old book, or old picture. Looks like it's probably from the 70s. Um, but something interesting is that he wrote his first, wrote and published his first book uh, for a seventh grade English project and before he graduated from high school he had written and published four more books and he's published many more since then but I think um, considering that he wrote a lot of his books as a young boy he probably had a pretty good idea of what kind of literature young boys enjoyed so this particular book is about a group of high school kids um, who are good at band and they all um, from, gather around from North America to Toronto to join in a band festival. So they're putting together, sorry I don't know how to hold this book so it's in the video. <laughs> there we go. Um, anyways, they gather in Toronto to put on a band festival and even though this picture looks like it's a rock band, it's actually an orchestra that they're putting together. But the main character, Bugs Potter, he's a percussionist and he loves drumming and he loves rock and roll. And so um, he's always got drumsticks in his hand and he drums on everything. And um, he's not too interested in the cultural events that the bandmaster has arranged for all of the kids throughout the 10 days that they're there. And so he um, tries to sneak out and gets caught. And he and his roommate both get in trouble, even though his roommate hadn't joined in. The bandmaster tells his roommate that he's kind of in charge of him. And so from that point on, his roommate is trying to keep Bugs Potter under control. But um, Bugs just seems to get in trouble anyways. He wants to go see his favorite um, rock band at a club and so they sneak out again and um, and he's able to drum with this drum band and with this rock band and um, the, f the audience loves him and this happens a few times throughout the story and he becomes a big sensation in Toronto where the story takes place but nobody knows who he is and there's a couple of subplots in there. Um, there's a rich uh, actress, beautiful actress that Bugs Potter is trying to meet. And there's some jewel thieves. And so the all the plot, the plot and the subplots make this a very fun story to read. Um, and I think it really would appeal to young boys. I would say probably ages 10 and up would really enjoy um, the story and so I hope you get it and read it it's it's a lot of fun and if you have any reluctant boy readers in your house I'm sure they'll enjoy it so thank you for watching my presentation